Well, welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing and sort of a discussion. So, I know a lot of these things um, have already been unboxed, and you don't even know what's in here, do you? Uh, so, I, I'm not really not going to focus on, on on doing a lot of, hey, here's what's in the box. More so, I'm going to do, hey, here's what's in the box, as well as some discussion about why I did what I did and how you know it might be of interest to you rather than you know geez um, you know here's another quadcopter in a box so kind of long story short if you remember from the introductory video I did I purchased the SEMA uh, X8 I believe it was the X8C and so I've been learning how to fly that and one of the things I I've grown to really enjoy quadcopter 101 uh, and some of his work and <clears throat> one of the things that he definitely recommended was not starting out with the um, X8 and I can now definitely see what he was getting at now I I've gotten a little bit okay in flying the X8 um, and it's an interesting platform but I, the one thing I've come to discover is, is and, and again, I, I'm new to drone usage too, so I uh, just started hacking around with it. Thanks, Robert. And that, um, you know, so there's flying a drone and then there's video. Now, by the name of this channel, Video Drone, you kind of get the idea is my, my goal is to do video. And without some sort of um, hovering ability, video is rather difficult because you have to keep flying the copter. Now, if that's your thing, that's great. Um, you know, it's a lot of fun to fly, and I and actually enjoy that, uh, flying it. But the, the part is, is it, you, it becomes more of a focus on flying than the videography. So one of the things I decided to do is after looking at a couple different things, I, I decided to kind of go backwards a little bit if you can even call it that, and, and actually go to the X5 series, so the X5 platform. And then what I did is I also got the H series, the hover series. So here it is. I just got it in. Uh, I also have links for this below. Um, so I bought the, eight, the X5 H5. Now, also, one of the things I discovered is my wife likes to fly drones too. Um, so the thing is, we went out one day, we were flying the X8 and everything, and we were sort of fighting over who got to fly it. So one of the things that, you know, was very clear is, is she did not want to be, she wanted to kind of have fun flying it, not be involved in flying it, if that makes any sense. And, and so um, I decided actually to get this for both of us, um, you know, primarily her, but really both of us to kind of practice on and, 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 and play with. Because one of the things I noticed in the videos is that, um, you know, with the hover veil abil uh, ability, sorry, not availability, ability, that you could really fly this one-handed and you could kind of, um, you, whoop, you didn't have to think so much about flying it versus just enjoying flying it, if that makes some sense. So I went and got this one. Um, it seemed to be a very nice sort of entry level. And I seem to have opened it upside down because I should have this one. This one should be in the box, the green and white version. And as we see here, there's the green and white. Uh, nice little user manual. And you know, the one thing I have to say for the, the, the SEMAs, is for the money you pay, I mean, it really is quite a bit of value, at least I think, my personal opinion. Um, you know, I, I deal a lot with Chinese, you know, import products and that kind of stuff. And uh, so I really, really kind of like the quality so far I've seen out of SEMA product line. So it's kind of removing all this stuff in the infamous cell phone holder. And, and the other thing is, of course, this is video drone, so we have to have a video camera. So we've got the, you know, atypical video camera. Now, the interesting piece is, if I get this out of the way, here is the one from the X8. And if I understand everything correctly, this is, the, they're both the same cameras, except this one is just put into a heavier duty housing. You can kind of see in the back here. If I put these two together, they sure do look like one another, don't they, from the back? And I think that's actually what's inside here. We're going to do another video, take this apart and explore what's in, in there. Uh, however, this is what I kind of think um, is. And then you can see the opening. It looks the same, which is without this big uh, bezel. So uh, anyways, and this has this 
has three a three wire connection, much as this does. But one has a plug and one has this little connector. So, anyways, I think this will be interesting. And hey, we get to do a video and we get to mod it. So that's all a good thing. So let's flip this over and remove this other cover. And so here we go. Now this looks kind of nice. This is, uh, uh, you know, the blades are all on it and everything. And you know, the thing is, this is really a nice size when when we compare it to the uh, X8. And uh, sorry for that, I'm gonna knock that on the floor. So here's the X8. Boom. Let me move this box out of the way if you don't mind. Uh, running out of room here. So here's the X8, here's the X5. X8, X5. So it is quite a bit smaller um, than, than that. And something's moving around inside there. That's usually not a good sign. Uh, looks like uh, somebody stuck a battery in here already. So apparently maybe the battery comes in there. Um, but it doesn't have the feet and everything on it. So anyways, I'm really looking forward to using this. Now, the one thing is I understand with, with the Hover series that these have a little bit different props and stuff on them for uh, lift. Let me move the uh, eight, X8 out of the way. So again, I'm looking kind of forward to flying this. And, and, and um, the pieces is I, for, for my yard at home, the uh, X8's a little bit big. Um, for the yard and I'm hoping that again I can uh, use this in the yard it's much smaller as you can see and this way get some more experience uh, flying uh, the drone rather than uh, you know have to go to the park and, and to fly the X8 and that kind of stuff and get the experience so looking forward to that so anyways um, I've kind of shared rambled a little bit showed you what was in the box talked about this a little bit and uh, so you have a little bit of my logic uh, of why I'm doing some of this so if you're interested in doing it, um, hey, you can decide this is what you want to do. Oh, kind of one last thing here. So here is the controller, and the controller pretty much looks like the um, the X8, but smaller. So you can see the difference in size between the X8 and the uh, X5 controller. But it, it doesn't have a bad feel, and notice it's got the hover stick. Now. One of the things that I did do is I've purchased off of eBay uh, another control board, not for the X5, but the X8, to make it a hover mode as well as a transmitter. So I think I paid 20-some 20, 20 bucks for the transmitter because of this self-centering stick and then I uh, the logic board was I don't know like 12 bucks so for around $30 I'm going to convert the X8 to, to a hover uh, barometric hover mode and I'm gonna cover out a little bit of that too in another video how to do it if you're interested and I'll have the links uh, in that video of how to make the conversion so if you're interested in converting your existing X8 because again for 30 bucks I love the platform uh, I got all the parts so why why reuse it or why not reuse it I should say so anyways hopefully you found this interesting hey give it a thumbs up like subscribe and see you in the next video cheers